Okay, let us start and just uh, starting also the registration. Good afternoon. The, uh, today's uh, practice will concern the trajectory generation. So let me show where we are. <clears throat> okay, we are here and uh, we need to to finish the statics for uh, the previous uh, topic, and we will do it uh, tomorrow. And then uh, on Friday, we will discuss about, on Thursday, sorry, actuator and sensors. For the students of mechanical engineering, the uh, theoretical part of the, the course will end here uh, next Thursday. However, you still will have uh, uh, several practice classes to attend. Okay, for you, it is five, uh, six or five, I don't remember, uh, credits, while for the students of computer science is nine. So that's the reason why uh, you stop earlier with respect to that. Okay, so today we are going to develop a uh, trajectory, I mean, a function to, 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 to generate a very simple trajectory that will be useful and it will be required for your uh, project. So trajectory generation, uh, what we are going to do today, and uh, as usual, I mean, as usual for this year, I'm going to write the uh, code in front of you, and then I will ask you to do the same. The function that we are required to develop is needed in order to implement a generation of a trapezoidal velocity profile. So we need to write a function with those inputs. An initial position, uh, not necessarily a scalar one, a vector of uh, whatever dimension, a final position, a final time, cruise velocity, and current time instant, okay? So it means that uh, we will uh, implement this function at uh, each sample in time in order to uh, generate position, velocity, and acceleration at the current time instant, okay? So this is what we are going to do. Where is the, uh, where are the equations that we want to implement? Well, the equation are here in the uh, file uh, named robotics uh, uh, 05, so the trajectory uh, planning uh, lecture. And uh, in particular, the exercise for today is uh, requiring the implementation with, where is it? The implementation with the velocity assigned. So this one, in the page 24, when the cruise velocity is assigned. And so we need, let me say, uh, quite easily to implement this one. As well, we will uh, uh, do it together in order to, 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 to take confidence and with the, with the uh, MATLAB. And so what we need to do is to implement this function. And now I'm going to, I mean, let me copy and paste the comments just to, to save some time. So here I am going to write a new script, a new script, okay, function, function uh, Q, the Q, the, the Q, this will be the output of my function. And then the name is, for example, trapezoidal with as input initial, final position, cruise velocity, final time, and the current time, okay? So this is uh, my input. I'm sorry, but uh, yes, the idea to, to, to copy and paste was nice, uh, but copying from the PDF just made some confusion with 
Ok. Ok, so this is my function. If I write function, I also need to put an N here. Ok, so I need to write this function. Now, it's not difficult to write this function. Actually, here you can see that uh, there is another variable as output, a possible error. We can write it down and we handle properly this one. Uh, this is the input of my uh, function, and this is the output. So basically, is clearly I need to provide the initial configuration of dimension, a generic dimension. So I do want to write a code that is uh, uh, general enough to handle the development of a, a trapezoidal velocity profile, even if is given for one scalar or for n uh, joints or for the end effect of position, for example. Okay, let us use the same file in order also to, to collect two functions. And this will be simply the exercise. I don't know, I think this is the number three, but uh, just to, to, to have a function that call it. So here, I will write the code that will uh, compute this function here that I still need to write, as you can see. Okay, so first of all, uh, initial configuration, for example, qi is equal. Let us start with a two by one. So initial for configuration, uh, zero and zero. Final is equal. Uh, let us move the first one of uh, uh, whatever, now this is uh, I dimensional minus two, one positive and one negative, so, it's, uh, so as to, to, to excite a little bit uh, uh, the, the formula and see if uh, any error arises. Then uh, the cruise velocity, of course, uh, I have a different cruise velocity for the two because they are just independent one each other. Now, I don't have any idea. Let us first start with, by writing any, any number and uh, we will uh, discuss a little bit later on how to select this uh, cruise velocity uh, properly. Final time, I want to move uh, in uh, 2.5 seconds and then I need to provide the current time of the of the the current time at which to compute the trapezoidal velocity. I will do it for all the sampling time. So let let me define the, a sampling time of, uh, for example, ten milliseconds is a zero dot zero one seconds. This one and uh, vector time that is uh, zero sampling time zero t connect. Okay, so this is uh, the set of variables that I will use in order to test my, my function. So basically what I'm going to do is to say, okay, for E from one to length T, so for each sampling time, what you have to do is to compute this uh, function to compute this function with the QE F, ah, sorry, this is uh, the cruise velocity, so let me call it uh, the QC, okay. Let us also change the name uh, with the subscript QE, QF, the QC, TF is the same, now, t is a vector, however, I want to give only the value uh, at which compute the current time. So here, this is t i, so the current instant time, okay? Uh, as usual, uh, I'm, since uh, in order to have, uh, in order to have for you a better registration, I have uh, the double screen with the same view, so I don't see you. So as for the other uh, time, please let me know in case the registration or um, I mean the, the 
communication is uh, uh, broken and let me know as well if uh, anything in the, in the in my uh, lecture is is not going well i mean if i'm too fast uh, if the audio is not good it's, and so on because i don't see you now okay okay so now the point is uh, let me assume that uh, I already wrote this one. This is what I'm going to do in the next minutes, okay? But where I'm assigning this value to those variable. However, this variable needs to be properly defined. Q, let us define Q. If I want to go from initial to final, and I have two uh, degrees of freedom, I need to do it for a certain number of points that is given by the vector time. So Q will be a variable with dimension, uh, let me say, two rows and uh, NPT points. Now, NPT has not been defined, so maybe here I say NPT is length T. So my small uh, code will have I mean, we run for uh, uh, NPT times, and here I use NPT, okay? So Q will be a variable where at each column, I put the position at uh, TI, okay? And the same for the Q and the DQ. So let me copy this, the Q and the DQ. In MATLAB, I do not need to define those variables, to predefine those variables. However, it's much better in order to have uh, a clean code. So that's the way you will uh, uh, build, you will develop a clean code, okay? Okay, so now the, the point here is that now this is a matrix with two rows and NPT columns, I need to assign this one only to the I columns, okay? Because trapezoidal will output a vector. Okay, so of course trapezoidal still is empty, so <laughs> this function is not doing anything, but let me just try to, to let me just try to, 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 to write a dummy code in order to, okay. Just one moment, I want to indent. I, I like a code that is well, is nicely indented. So now let me write just a dummy code in order to run, uh, to debug a little bit uh, the function. So first of all, n, will be the uh, size q i with so the number of element of uh, the input for example okay so let me output uh, simply zeros zeros element just to write uh, to the, to start the bug a little bit okay and uh, r is equal zero means no error So now, it, I mean, this, uh, this uh, piece of code uh, is just dummy code in order to run it. So this will run, but of course, if uh, I save and I run, X3, okay, if I run it, fine, nothing happens, okay? <laughs> Basically, the reason why I don't have even any variable in the workspace is because I'm uh, using function. So all the variables are local to the function. I'm not asking for any output here in this function. And so that's the reason why I don't see anything. The, the run didn't interrupt in any place. It means that uh, uh, everything was uh, syntactically correct. Okay, let me also write here what I will do later on, so plot of my so, uh, figure, 
subplot 3 by 1, it means that I'm divided my figure in three pieces, and this will be the first one, plot T2, and then X label, I always want to know what's in the seconds, in the X label, Y label, uh, now this is uh, the position Q, uh, without unit measurement, because at that moment, I don't know what is the, the unit measurement. And then I like also to have a grid. Let me do it for the, 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 the middle one with the velocity and the bottom one with, with the Q. If I now run my function, well, I have a, a very nice figure where all the lines are obviously zero, because this is what I've done, okay? Uh, I, I noticed that the Y label is wrong, because Q, Q, and Q means that I have to, to change here the label, Q, the Q, and the Q, okay? So this is the, the way we are going to, to build our code in an incremental way, and by properly also debugging. If I want to, to, to see the dimension of my uh, function, well, I can put uh, a breakpoint here just by clicking with the uh, uh, left button of the mouse uh, close to the line number, and this uh, uh, red circle here appears. It means that if I run, the execution stop here, stops here. You see the, this uh, green arrow, and now, I see the workspace because now I'm here with the execution and I see all the variables of this function, the function x3, okay? So now I can see q, the q, the, the q, and so on, okay? And that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that and I can quick debug. Now I need to write this function, okay? This is a, this is the function that uh, uh, my, my uh, exercise is uh, asking. Up to now, we just build all the, all the side code. Okay, let, let me write my nice function. I delete this one because now I don't need it. So I first have a loop for each of the joint, I can also for each of the joints or for each of uh, the input uh, degrees of freedom, okay? Now, let me, let me raise the, the equation that I need to implement here. Now, I first have to check for this condition. This condition is a, a physical condition that needs to be satisfied. It means that uh, if uh, the cruise velocity is not within uh, those, uh, this uh, boundary, the uh, um, formula cannot be implemented. So this is a, a mandatory condition to be checked. Let us, uh, let us implement this one with uh, a something like, uh, uh, okay, first of all, I can define the, the variable uh, displacement, something like uh, the Q is equal QF. Now I, because this should be made for each of the joint, okay? Now, the condition is uh, if uh, mm, if the QC is uh, now it should be larger than this one, okay? So larger than this one means if it is 
uh, smaller, let me put it outside the boundary. So this is abs the Q divided TF. This is the first condition. Or, or is made with this symbol in MATLAB. Let us check help or logical or it can be implemented with this symbol here. Okay. Okay, so the first condition is here between those uh, round brackets, then or the second condition. The second condition say the QCI is uh, larger than twice is larger than two multiplied uh, absolute value of the displacement divided TF. Now, MATLAB now is uh, showing a couple of, uh, I hope you can see it, the small red lines uh, uh, below this uh, if and below the or sign. Uh, can you see it? Just to check. Can you see uh, on the screen the two very small red lines? Yes. Okay. So if I move my mouse over the red line, I see why MATLAB is warning me. So let's first go on the if. The mouse is here and say, okay, you open an if and you didn't close. It could be a proper way to, to build your uh, code if you write at the same time if and end. Or in our case, it will be an else. Okay. So now this is uh, the if the uh, cruise velocity is not within the um, physical constraint. But let us check also here. OK, it says, uh, when both arguments are numeric scalars, as in this case, consider replacing uh, the symbol that I used with the double twice this one. is is an OR, it's OK. So now, if my cruise velocity is not physically consistent, well, what I want to do is to go out from uh, uh, the code is to provide an error to the user. So without running the code, without trying to do anything. Let me see if I have something in MATLAB. Error. Error, display message and abort function. Well, this is what I want to do. Okay. So I want to, to provide the a, an error. So it means that here, as output, I don't want a variable because I don't want to try to catch the error. I just want to abort my function. So in case here, error with velocity uh, in a appropriate. Okay. If I want, I may also try to provide the reason why. For example, I can write, uh, I can write the, the values and uh, for example, to have uh, the Uh, lower limit cruise velocity uh, this is a syntax uh, C like uh, 
you don't have to 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 up and upper limit. You don't have to to uh, necessarily, of course, uh, learn this one. You can use whatever way you want to print uh, the value on the screen. And here, I write. Okay, now what I've done here is an if that if my variable does not satisfy this condition, it just abort. Okay, so now I can start uh, using my uh, implementing my function. Okay, I need first to compute this switching time and then the acceleration. So the switching time. Now, Q dot C, the, the Q, C, I multiply T on F minus the Q, okay? This one is what I just compute in line 50 with a different sign. And then I need to implement Q dot C multiply T on F. And all should be divided by Q dot C. So this is divided the Q C. OK, so this is the switching time. Then the acceleration is given by this. I can notice that the denominator of this fraction is the numerator of this one, and this is Q dot squared. So I can say the, the Q C is equal divided by this one. Okay, now I need to implement uh, this equation. So first of all, if my current time is uh, within the first time window, the second one and the third one, I need to implement a different equation. So now I need to write uh, something like, if uh, current time is this one, okay, is a scalar, so, if uh, uh, t is uh, less or equal to c. Of course, if you want, you can write something here of the kind if t is less than zero, error t should be positive end okay so if t is then else uh, if t is uh, here for example uh, larger than tc so if here is t is uh, larger than tc and now I learned that I can write with T is, you know, equal uh, TF minus TC, TF minus TC. Then I have else if, I have this one. but only smaller without equal. And sorry, this is not or, this is end, okay? Because it should be in within the time window. So this is end. The same is here. Uh, 
and uh, uh, smaller than t con f. Then let me also put else, uh, and this will concern t larger than t con f. Okay. This is bigger. Okay, I want to test also the steady state. So now I'm going here, and, uh, and t con f is this one. I define t going up to t con f. No, let, let me make that uh, uh, t uh, is the double of t con f. So now he's giving r as an error because, of course, we don't have it anymore as output of our function. Okay, so now this is what I need to implement in order to implement the development of the trapezoidal velocity profile. First time window, initial Q plus half acceleration and T squared. So initial Q, so in this case, uh, this is Q, okay? So Q, now QI is equal initial Q, of course, for the, for the, for each of the, of the um, uh, input degrees of freedom, plus dot five multiplied, the QC multiplied T square. Okay. This is the position. Okay. Uh, now, the velocity, the QI is equal. Okay, it says the Q is changing. Now this is another warning uh, because Q is changing at every loop iteration. If uh, we want to avoid, avoid it, we can have Qs, zeros, and we go one. We, we define the variable as a zero so that uh, MATLAB avoid providing us this warning. Okay, so can you tell me if this is Q uh, what is the the velocity? This is the position. What is the velocity? If, if the position is a function of uh, t power 2, what is the velocity? Function of what? Let me... I'm in the first time window. This is my position, okay? So I need to compute the velocity in the phase with a constant acceleration. The time derivative of this one is basically, I should make the, the derivative of this one with respect to t. So. is this one, right? Do you agree? And what is the acceleration? This one, the acceleration is easy because I'm in, the, in this phase here, constant acceleration. 
Okay. Okay. So the second phase, let me see the equation from the here. The second phase, this is the value of the position. Okay. So now the value of the position is given by uh, quai plus uh, this one multiplied tc, so it is this one multiplied tc multiplied t minus uh, half tc. So this is the position. Uh, okay, this, here we have a plus. Okay, I implemented the, the, this one, the position. Now the velocity, I can divide this one, I, I can make the, the, the derivative of this one, or, well, we do have uh, the crease velocity that is given, so this should be the crease velocity, and the acceleration is zero, okay? Now, I have uh, the second phase. The second phase, uh, let me just delete everything. I'm here, I'm sorry, the last phase. And this is the position, final Q. So, Q, F, I, minus, uh, then uh, this is my equation. So half minus half uh, acceleration. See, multiplied the square of uh, Tf minus T. I'm sorry, okay, no. I don't know what's going on. Okay, TF minus T. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, now, velocity. Well, the velocity, again, is the derivative of this one. I know that the velocity, I'm sorry, the velocity should be here, this line here, so a, a, a line, a proper line that I can copy easily, I'm sorry, from here. So the velocity is given by minus 2 minus, uh, this is, Minus the C multiplied multiplied this one. Then there is another minus. It means that this should be the velocity. I'm not sure. Something is not totally convincing me, but let's see, and then we will see what happens. Okay. And this is. Else, what happens if t is larger than the final t? Well, in this case, I simply say, okay, so qi is equal qf, and the qi is equal 0, the qi is equal 0, okay? Now, I'm ready to, to, to check if my code is working or not. Uh, usually, it never works at the first attempt. Okay, let's see. Error using trapezoidal, cruise velocity inappropriate. Okay, so this is my error. This is the error of my code. And if I click here, it jumps on line 61 here. So first of all, 
I need to assign a proper cruise velocity. And now this is the lower, this is the upper, and this is the cruise velocity that I assigned. It means that uh, this cruise velocity is too high. I don't know for which other joint. So maybe I can modify this one. And I can also write something like uh, or degrees of freedom let, let me run again with the error okay <laughs> this is another one f printf is wrongly written Okay, cruise velocity is not proved. The shen here it doesn't like it. You can put it here. But now I have the information that this is for the first degrees of freedom. So let me go here from zero to one cruise velocity dot six. So that now this is not giving me an error. I have uh, another error from the second one. Okay, so now the lower limit is dot eight, the upper limit is one dot six. My cruise velocity was two, not good. So let me put one dot one here. Okay, uh, there are some errors. We will see it uh, uh, one by one because this is clearly uh, totally wrong. Let me first uh, change here in the, my plot. I want to have uh, the line a little bit thicker because otherwise the registration is not nice enough. I run exactly the same so that I can make the debug now. Okay, so the blue is the first one and uh, the, uh, the red is the second one. And I can uh, appreciate that there are a lot of uh, uh, inconsistent uh, aspect in those plots. Can you spot uh, some of the inconsistencies? Uh, let me ask you. Uh, can you please tell me what is uh, totally wrong with respect to the trapezoidal velocity profile that we studied? So I first show you again uh, here. This is the trapezoidal velocity profile. So I should see something like that. Okay. Position. The first one was positive. The second one was negative, the, the desired one. Cruise velocity and acceleration. This is what I'm actually having. So can you try to figure out what's wrong? Can you have a look at the acceleration, for example? Here, this is the first acceleration. I don't have the deceleration phase. This is the uh, acceleration of the second one. I have the acceleration and I don't have the deceleration phase in this case too. Okay, so first of all, maybe there is a mistake in the computation of the switching time. Now I need to make the bug. Let me check.
So this is final time. And I'm computing trapezoidal with this one. Okay. So this is TC. QI minus QF plus Q dot C, TF, Q dot C. Okay. So let me let me put some uh, if I put a, a debug here, it, it's a little bit uh, is a little bit dangerous because this will be called NP, NPT times. So let me put uh, first a debug here, and then a debug here. Okay. Okay, so I'm here. Ah, no, sorry. No, I don't want the. Okay, let me only have a debug here in the calling function. I run it, so now I'm here. It, execute, it executed all the plot wrong, and I'm here. Okay, so now let me put a debug here, and from here, at the command line, I call trapezoidal, the various, uh, I can call trapezoidal, And here, I just put zero. Okay, so now I'm here, line, this line here, okay? So now I'm uh, within this function, and I can check the value of uh, the various uh, uh, variables. Okay, so See, do it And in the chat, uh, there is a suggestion about here. Line, uh, ah, okay, there is a comment, Six, 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 seven, six, let me see. This one, uh, um, uh, this one uh, should be this function here. Yes, professor, that uh, this is QC, but to give it QC. Uh, the audio is very bad. You say, ah, the, the QQ? Ah, okay, but this is an error it didn't recognize. So maybe it means that uh, you're right, it doesn't exist, this variable. Uh, it means that uh, it never goes here. So this 
helped us in spotting another error, something related with uh, this uh, uh, check, because uh, it never entered here, basically. Otherwise, uh, I mean, it would have said that this variable doesn't exit. Thank you. OK, so now we have TC is, is this one. This is final time. <laughs> What's going on? Sorry. No, I didn't want to do it. Sorry. OK. Final time, cruise velocity. The, the QC, OK. 072, OK. So now, C is zero dot zero dot nine, it was here, okay. Okay, yes, I got it. This one. Okay. Let's see if uh, this is the problem or not. We can leave this one. More or less. Now, for this one is okay, only the acceleration, the position, the velocity, uh, there is something that uh, is not going well with the velocity. For the, seg for the, 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 the second one, is totally wrong, okay. Just one moment. I should check if the Q should be positive or negative. Let me check if uh, the, the problem is with the sign of the Q. So now let me modify here from zero to two. So to see if uh, the problem is with the Q. Yes, the problem uh, is with the sign of the cruise velocity. If you uh, not, uh, mm, that's interesting. I think there is a, a, a bug somewhere, but the two positions are okay from zero to one the first and the second, 
Then I have the cruise velocity for the second. The cruise velocity for the first is clearly wrong, as you can see. And the acceleration, they are okay. Okay, the switching time are different, of course, for the two. But now, I mean, the velocity for this one is totally, is totally wrong. And this seems to be a bug. The Q zero. Nella, nell'armadietto ok uh, the, I, I made a very stupid mistake because I gave uh, the same variable name to two different stuff one was a scalar and one a vector and MATLAB uh, didn't give me any syntax error. So now, by changing this very stupid uh, mistake, you can appreciate that the trapezoidal velocity profile uh, is achieved. I'm not sure if this is working also for negative values, so let us uh, verify these two. No, so there is uh, a problem uh, with uh, the sign. Let me check if this is the problem. Ah, yes. Okay, there is a, a problem with the sign of, of uh, the displacement. So with the implementation of the function with uh, or without a negative uh, value. Okay, so let's do that way. Well, first of all, let, let me check uh, if I do implement uh, with positive, uh, but uh, with uh, another joint, if my code uh, is uh, general enough just to adapt to the presence of another joint, no. Oh, Chris Velocity in a probe. No, this one. Okay, let me let me check what is the error. This is now three by one. Ah, okay, no, this is very stupid. I should make n equal side scope. I will go on. And so that's here uh, n n n. Okay. Okay, so the code is working perfectly with the three joints. So it's general with respect to the, the dimension of the joint. Still, there is a, a mistake. I should check uh, why. If I give here a negative value, it, it provides an error. Uh, you can see clearly that this is totally wrong. So I need to make some debug. Now, let me first uh, uh, interrupt so that you start working and 
uh, I, in background, I check for my mistake, and I'll show you uh, later on, okay? And uh, we are doing, uh, uh, as for the other uh, uh, lectures, let me repeat it, I will say here, you will work and you will share my screen, your screen, every time that you have uh, something to ask, something to show, or in uh, 20 minutes, I will ask you to, to show me your uh, advancement. He's a volunteer, it's not mandatory, so it's, uh, it's an opportunity, okay? Okay, so good work. <laughs>